In this video, I'll show you the concrete slab made for this beam and block roof. You will discover the process of making a slab from scratch and the huge amount of work that goes on behind the scenes. And if you're wondering about the design of this house, the front is a flat roof design while at the back of the house is a pitched roof. Watch this video if you're looking to make a suspended slab using the beam and block technology for your current or upcoming project. Also, because I know some of you are looking for an experienced contractor to do this kind of job for your project, I've left contact details down below in the description for the contractor in charge of this project. I'm Nick Moema and let's see the process in action. Placing the beams and blocks. Before making the concrete slab, the beams and blocks are arranged according to the span of the slab. The beams are called pre-stressed beams because the steel inside the beams are pretensioned at a specialized yard to achieve the required strength. But before we continue any further, I'd like to inform you that I've talked about the beam and block technology in previous videos. I'll link them below for you to check them out after watching this video. Coming back, when you buy the beams and blocks, they are transported to your site ready to install them according to the design of your house. The beams are also cut according to the span of your slab. This is made possible once you submit your drawings to the company that manufactures these beams and blocks. This greatly reduces the chances of theft of the beams because they'll be almost useless in another project. The beams are cut precisely to fit from one end of the beam to the other main beam on the opposite side. That's why this technology is also called the beam-to-beam -beam technology. The typical width of a block is 400 millimeters, so the spacing of the beams is done to ensure the, beam, the blocks fit properly in between. Once two pre-stressed beams are spaced correctly, it's only a matter of fitting the concrete hollow blocks, and this is done quickly. You can literally have a working surface in a matter of minutes. When all the beams and blocks are placed, the next thing to do is to lay the BRC mesh. I've made a whole video describing what the BRC mesh is and I'll link it down below in the description. Placing the BRC mesh is important because it adds tensile strength to the concrete that will be poured on top of it to make the flat slab. After laying the BRC mesh, all that is left to do is casting the final flat concrete slab for the roof. Casting the concrete slab. Casting the concrete slab is usually a one day job. That's because of the quick setting of concrete. So everything has to be ready before doing the casting. That means the labor, materials and equipment should be on site as early as possible. The main materials needed to make concrete are 1. The coarse and fine aggregates, 2. Sand, 3. Cement, and 4. Water. Getting fresh, clean water wasn't a challenge for this project, even though it was located in a slightly remote area of Georgia Town in Kiambu County. That was a huge advantage as water needs to flow consistently during the casting process. For this particular project, the main equipment used were 1. The concrete mixer, which mixes the materials to make concrete 2. The crane hoist, which lifts the concrete to the roof and 3. The poker vibrator, which compacts the concrete 
and gets rid of trapped air bubbles present inside the concrete. The contractor in charge of this project arranged his team to do specific roles. This greatly increases time efficiency, which ensures the smooth running of the job. Because once the concrete mixer is turned on, everyone gets busy with their job. Casting the staircase. To access the huge roof space, an outdoor staircase was designed for this house. So logically, it makes sense to cast the concrete for the staircase on the same day as the roof slab. And that's what happened. The timber formwork was already put in place to shape the design of the staircase once the concrete is poured. As you can see from behind me, this is an ongoing project. The clients of this project are subscribers to my channel and I was grateful to witness the project in action. They fully embraced alternative building technologies for their house because of the speed of construction as they were on a tight deadline. The walls were built using precast concrete panels and for the roof, they opted to use pre-stressed beams and concrete hollow blocks, which is the main theme of this video. I'd like to give a shout out to you, Teddy, and your wife. If you guys are watching this video, I'll take this opportunity to thank you for allowing me to share your project with the community to be a source of inspiration for their upcoming projects. Also, congratulations on building your new home. In a future video, I'll showcase their house, including the construction process. So if this type of content is relevant to you, be sure to subscribe to the channel. To learn more about beam and lock technology, then watch this video.